Hi everyone, my name is Holly and today is another Tuesday. So that means it's time for another balloon tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to make an umbrella out of balloons. So today is a very wet, dreary, rainy day here in San Antonio, Texas and I thought it would be a perfect day to show you how to make an umbrella because that's what you need on a rainy day. Um, although balloon umbrellas don't really offer much protection from the rain, they're still pretty cute. So everyone should know how to do one. So, for our umbrella made out of balloons, I'm going to do a girly one. So I'm going to use pink and purple and some blue. So these are some of my favorite colors together, combined like this. I'm going to blow each of these balloons up eight pumps. Tie them off. There's one. Get balloon number two. top of the umbrella and I'm going to try to squeeze them and make them nice and soft. Get the air down towards the end there. There we go. And I'm going to find the halfway point of these guys and twist them both together. It doesn't have to be exact, but close enough. Alright, so we've got a big X. Now I'm going to take my blue part and this is the part I'm going to use for the stem of the umbrella. I'm going to make a loop on the top and twist that and then use the nozzle and push it through there to lock that loop in place so it won't come undone on you. And we're going to put this loop right in the middle of all these balloons here. Twist that in there like that. So that will be our umbrella. Okay? Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to Take each of these balloons here coming out the top. We're going to find the halfway point. We're going to twist it about where the middle is and then do a pinch twist like that. You're going to do that for each one of these guys. So it's going to start looking like a pinwheel here. Kind of cool. Alright, you've got a twist. here and you're going to twist it into the pinch twist of the next balloon over. So we've got that. Take the next one, bring it across, twist it around. We're going to do the same thing. If you don't have an end, you can make just a tiny little bubble like that and twist that around your pinch twist. And that works perfectly fine also. I'm going to take the nozzle here take each of these top balloons coming out and give them a little bend and squeeze. And add some more shape. And you can also do the same thing with the balloons going around. Bend them out and kind of squeeze them a little bit. Kind of makes it like a more shapelier umbrella. It's very pretty. Okay? So then you want to come down here and figure out how long you want the stem of your umbrella to be. So I'm going to say about like that looks right to me. I'm going to fold it up and just squeeze it really well with my hands. Okay, it's got a nice little loop there. I'm going to twist it off about right there and get rid of the rest of this part. white balloon or whatever color you want. Blow it up about four very small punts. You don't want to put a lot of air in here. 
and you're going to just take the nozzle, just white balloon, and twist it into one of those pinch twists, and just do bubbles. Lots and lots and lots of bubbles. I'm going to try to do this fast here. And you're going to just do as many bubbles as it takes to go across one section. Like that. And twist that into the next pinch twist over. We've got some bubbles here. Continue on to the next section. And you would actually probably need two of these white balloons to go around the whole umbrella. Maybe even three if you're just practicing and still working things out. Alright, so that's one thing you can do to dress up the umbrella. Um, just keep it going all the way around. I come out with new tutorials every Tuesday. It's always something different and fun and exciting. And most of my balloons are pretty easy and quick to make for birthday parties and line work. So if you enjoy that type of twisting, I think you'll like my videos. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you next week for another Tutorial Tuesday. Bye.